Happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope you've been enjoying our snatch cycle so far. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on our snatch plus an overhead squat, maybe a couple of them. Um, ideally, we're gonna practice a full snatch, which means the bar starts on the ground with a wide grip. And then we're gonna pull ourselves under the bar into that full overhead squat. Now, if mobility is an issue, or you're newer to these and you need to do a power snatch, ride it down or power snatch and then do your overhead squats. We can work with that, but ideally if you can, focus on pulling yourself under the bar into that full squat. So let's break it down just a little bit. We're gonna have a wide grip on the bar. It should be sitting right in the crease of your hips. Shoulders are back, okay? From here, we'll take the bar all the way down to mid shin. This is where it would sit if you had weights on the bar. Your hips are gonna be low, shoulders are over the bar, knees are slightly forward. As we stand, the back angle remains the same. We're gonna drive the knees back and out of the way, keeping the shoulders over the bar. Once we get to the top of the knee, we're gonna pick the chest up and scoop the hips underneath. So now we're in what's called a high hang position. This is the most efficient way to jump the bar up. If our chest is forward or our knees are locked out, as we jump, the bar's gonna swing in front of you and it's gonna be a little bit harder to catch it. You're not gonna get as much power out of it. So we're gonna be at mid shin. We're gonna get a patient pull to the knee, then we're gonna speed up get it to the hips, pull ourselves under the bar into this nice overhead squat position, stand it up all the way, and then we're gonna perform another overhead squat, focusing on driving the armpits forward and using the low traps like the mid back to pull that bar back behind your head to stay nice and balanced in this bottom position and then stand it up all the way, okay? Technical movement, so Keep the weight light if needed, and then once you're comfortable and confident with the movement, you can start pushing that weight a little bit. After that, we're gonna do a workout with rowing and box jumps, okay? So pretty simple. After we did all that technical work, now we just get to go, go, go. So we're gonna row, and then the box jumps, we wanna jump up, extend the hips at the top, and then step down, and then be ready to jump again, okay? Have fun.